Matthias Desmet. He's a psychologist. He's also a statistician. He's at the University of Ghent. So this is Belgium. He's a European, but he speaks fluent English. Many of us are very impressed by his thinking. Bobby Kennedy, for instance, has met with him personally and uh, spoken to him about his theories, as have many of my peers. I think Matthias is on to something, and he calls it mass formation psychosis. So when he says mass formation, you can think of this equivalent to crowd. So it's crowd psychosis. That's what we're really talking about. There's easy ways to fix groupthink by just bringing in dissenting voices and making sure you give them platforms. With mass formation psychosis, this is like hypnosis. It really is hypnosis. This is what happened to the German people. If you live in Europe or you are, uh, have a relative who's a Holocaust survivor, or also if you've lived behind the Soviet Union curtain, Eastern Europe, etc. This is a, a fundamental problem that people have is understanding how can, for instance, the German people who are highly educated, very liberal in the classic sense, you know, Western thinking people, how could they go so crazy, so deep into crazy land that they were doing what they did to the Jews? How could this happen to a civilized people? And this is the explanation for that. It has been a major focus of academic inquiry for decades and decades in Europe. So with what we're experiencing here, you have to have a set of preconditions. And, and walk with me back to, remember 2019? It seems like forever ago. The precursors for mass formation psychosis is you have to have a situation in which the population is decoupled from each, each other. They don't have social bonds. Everybody on their little cell phones and everything else, okay, where we're fragmented into our communities, Facebook communities and other things. Yes, there are tribes, but we're now in a situation where there's sub, 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 sub tribes. Everybody's fragmented. Nobody's feeling connected, okay? There's gotta be a lack of sense making. The world has to somehow not make sense what's happening in the world. It just seems to be overwhelming. Things don't make sense. Remember how we were all kind of thinking this back in 2019 and we had the elections and what was going on? Clearly there's big forces at work there and nothing made sense. This leads to free floating anxiety, which is the source of the greatest psychological pain. And my wife, for example, experiences this all the time. Many people do. So for her, she has this chronic sense of anxiety. She wakes up in the middle of the night, suddenly alerted to some thing that she's been dreaming about. So this sense of free floating anxiety, things don't make sense. We're no longer connected to each other. And we also have free floating discontent that things aren't right. And I don't like it very much. And I'm not sure where to put my finger on it. A lot of us had this feeling. Now think about what happened when the virus broke out. The world obsessed over this virus. Suddenly, every software person in the world was an expert on molecular virology and epidemiology. I had to deal with them, you know? It just, we all suddenly became obsessive experts, spending all our time on the media trying to figure out what the heck is going on because it didn't make sense. And we're trying to protect our children and everything else. When these conditions happen, and then the entire population gets focused on one thing, it forms something akin to hypnosis, where all they can think about, they're totally obsessed with that one thing. This is what happens with hypnosis, is you can hypnotize somebody and get them to focus on just one little tiny thing, and you can do surgery on them, they won't feel it. This is a fundamental phenomena of the human mind is this ability to become hypnotized by focusing all of your attention on one small thing. Once that happens, people lose their ability to have rational thought and judgment. Even if you weren't obsessed, you had all this fear porn coming at us all the time, 24 seven through every channel. Now, was this intentional or was it just selling clicks 
there's a lot of signs that it was there was an intentional component here that we're sitting in a situation in which we have been actively managed psychologically by some entity that has financial benefit or power to gain from doing this this gets to the point about global totalitarianism but regarding mass formation psychosis once this happens there's two key things everybody gets focused they have this fusion of their discontent this focus on a thing and then leaders step in that sees this moment and when they're identified as leaders or they're promoted as leaders and the crowd can see no evil they can hear no evil they can speak no evil and those leaders can say anything it does not have to be true and the crowd will believe it furthermore with this kind of process mass formation psychosis that we saw in 1930 Germany and we've seen in other situations outside the centers anybody who says something that is contrary to the narrative must be attacked these situations must have a common enemy this was well described in the 1984 book of George Orwell where there was this constant threat of the Eurasian forces they were nebulous one never really knew where they were or if they were going to attack but they were always used to drive fear in the crowd so this crowd now that's formed as central leaders that are lying to them all the time like Tony Fauci and as you see there's a narrow world in which those people that have been hypnotized in this way you can tell them until you're blue in the face what the data are what the facts are you can show them video clips of Tony Fauci lying it doesn't matter i was in tampa the other day and a physician asking questions came up in the line broken hearted she has many other physicians and medical professionals in her family and she's disaffected from all of them and she said it doesn't matter how much information i provide to them how many papers i provide to them what data i provide to them they can't hear it and it's true they literally can't they are hypnotized this has happened all over the world it's been actively promoted it is the consequence of all this censorship and propaganda that we've been subjected to and when it seems to you that the rest of the world has gone mad the truth is they have <laughs> okay and the question is what can we do about it so i spoke to matias about this about where does he see this going and it's really a bit grim he thinks that this mass psychosis has developed to a point where the global totalitarianism is unavoidable it will sweep over us we're seeing it in austria number 1 they're locking down during the holidays and they say you will be vaccinated now that flies in the face of the data which shows the vaccination won't stop the spread of the virus it doesn't matter they will impose the vaccines on you They're talking about doing this in Germany. They're talking about all kinds of mandates in the United States, like you say, including for the children. Think that through, okay? So this is happening, and Matthias believes that it's now to a point that it is going to progress through the population whether we like it or not. We have to continue to try to provide information, accurate information. There's a couple things we can do. We can substitute the fear of the virus, which is irrational. for a greater threat we can break through to people if we help them to understand that what we're seeing is a coordinated global focus on deploying a global totalitarian solution totalitarianism is a bigger boogeyman than the viruses by far losing control to bill gates and the world economic forum and blackrock and vanguard is a bigger threat then SARS-CoV-2 is for you or your children by far okay and people can hear that they can see it the TS has tested it and you can break this this fusion in their minds if you give them something that's even of greater concern which is loss of their freedom 
when you when you make it clear to people that they're on the threshold of losing their right they get activated so this is one topic area that a lot of people get and often the breakthrough thing is they're going to force my kids to take the jab and suddenly people wake up with that one also but the problem is all those underlying things haven't been fixed the real problem to be blunt is that our society is sick it's sick in a bunch of ways and i think the only thing that can come out of this to get us away from that to start to heal us is this idea of think global act local that is behind intentional communities meanwhile while all this crazy is going on in the world the rest of us that are able to see through for whatever reason maybe because we got fired from our job or we experience mainstream media first person and realize how corrupt and twisted that world is or maybe we experience big science and all the corruption within big science in a very brutal first person way things have caused some of us to be able to be a little more skeptical about what's going on in the world so we can't get beyond this if we don't find some way to heal ourselves and i think we got to start that healing process locally the message that i've been trying to promote in these very speaking engagements is a message of healing not division and of trying to empower people to start building local community telephone call lists you know work through your church whatever your organization is build on that find physicians that will administer early treatment i think that now is the time to build local community start to form networks with each other or providing information to older people who are often home alone scared and not able to access the internet there's a few courageous leaders politically in a lot of scared chickens basically the republican side is unified that these mandates are wrong now we're having trouble breaking through the other side but angry moms i think may be the thing that saves our democracy so there is hope but we still got a long way to go but i think we've seen some significant progress so i don't want to leave everybody thinking it's all doom and gloom